Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we'll be playing a game of Bolt Action. Tonight's game will be 1200 points, Soviets vs. Germans, late war, 1945. We'll be fighting over this deserted village somewhere in East Germany. Tonight's mission will be Demolition from the Rulebook. How that's going to work is we will roll off to see who gets to pick table edge, playing long table edges. Whoever wins that roll gets to place their base within four inches of their table edge. And the enemy will place his base within four inches of the opposite table edge. The objective is to reach the enemy base and destroy it. And to do that you have to have one of your units, not an empty transport, touching the enemy base with no enemies around at the end of the turn and you destroy the base. For deployment, we will both decide which units we're going to be deploying within 12 inches of our own edge. Uh, we are allowed reserves, um, so any reserves that we have, uh, their dice will not go in the bag. Any units that will deploy on the board's dice will go in the bag and we'll do a random uh, draw for uh, deployment. So pretty straightforward deployment there, and that's about it for the mission. Now we'll look at the terrain real quick. So I've busted out my seldom used uh, city mat, mainly because it's a sci-fi city map so I tried to cover most of the sci-fi stuff it's still not World War II but it's uh, close enough so anyway so this is the map we have a factory on this side and we have a small village on this side so pretty much everything in this map is going to be hard cover um, line of sight blocking terrain will be the wall and this little patch of woods here is dense terrain uh, the intact buildings are going to be intact buildings ruins including this footprint and that footprint are going to be just hardcover and they are going to be dense terrain and we have one more ruin here and everything else is intact so that is the terrain yeah not a whole lot to say about it it's a lot of hardcover and a deserted village somewhere in east germany so now we'll take a look at the forces here we have the germans so this is 1200 points that's actually 1198 points, 11 order dice. So starting over here, we have Lieutenant Fritz Adler and Mann, veterans with uh, assault rifles, veteran medic, veteran Panzer Shrek, three fanatical veteran SS squads of eight men each, submarine, submachine gun sergeant, two assault rifles, light machine gun, and two Panzerfaust each. Up here we have Der Hammer, my assault pioneer squad with six men with. Um, uh, submachine guns, two Panzerfausts, and then they'll be riding in this veteran Stummel, and they will be outflanking. And over here we have a regular heavy mortar with spotter, a veteran light howitzer, and a regular uh, 231, I believe it is. It's a closed topped armored car with a light auto cannon. So that's it. Not a whole lot of points for 1200 points, but I wanted to kind of go a uh, vet and fanatic and see how they do against the soviet horde so uh, now we'll go take a look and see what steve's list looks like here on this side we have steve's soviets how many points is this I had to blow the dust off of a 1200 point list okay got a t35 a t3485 sys 3 divisional gun three trucks with uh, pencil mounted machine guns junior lieutenant and his aide uh, two veteran squads uh, the green bases are Panzerfausts. SMGs. SMGs, correct. Um, AT rifle, sniper, heavy mortar with spotter, and uh, two LMG squads of uh, regular, and a free squad of inexperienced. Alright, so 13 order dice, or 14 order dice, 1200 points. And that is it, so we will begin the game. Actually, we've got to do our deployment first. So base-wise, so Steve took this edge. He placed his base right there, Oops. <laughs> and then I placed my base right in the middle in that ruin there. Uh, Steve has chosen one of his veteran squads in a truck to outflank, and I have chosen Der Hammer in the Stumble to outflank. Now we will deploy the rest of our stuff. All right, so deployment is now complete. So Steve actually has three units in outflanking, a truck yeah. with veterans. Oh, I'm sorry, one unit outflanking, and the T-3045 is in reserve. So on his side, he has the inexperienced squad here, out of line of sight, behind the dense terrain. Zis 3, he has his um, AT rifle, heavy mortar spotter, 
And a truck with LMG, LMG a truck with veterans and officer. The, yeah, the veterans and the uh, officer. Heavy mortar. Another LMG squad here. And his sniper there. German side, we got the armored car here. We have a squad of SS here. The spotter for the mortar is here. The uh, Panzer Shrek. Light howitzer. Heavy mortar. SS squad. SS squad, SS officer, and the medic. And outflanking, I have the uh, pioneers in the stumble. So that is it for deployment. Now we begin the game. And the first dice of the game goes to Soviets. the Soviets. The outflankers. So we put the outflankers down. Might as well get that out of the way. I'll put mine down. And now I must do something. I'm going to take a shot at, with the light howitzer at the ZIS-3 in the open over there. So just long range from even a 4. It's a hit. Alright, that's a 2 inch template. So it hits all 4, plus 2 pen, they're regulars. Yes. So anything but. That's 4 dead. So, so, for that unit. so the ZIS-3 is, is destroyed. And we are using uh, kill points as a tiebreaker, so next dice. I'm just pull one of out. <laughs> Howitzer's already earned his points back. Soviets. So Steve's heavy mortar is going to try to take out my gun now. Needs a six. Nope. That's not a six. But then again, it's not like you can move it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't move it. <laughs> it's stuck in there. But he did his job, so next die. Germans. Squad of SS, I was in this building. I just run out up to the wall there. And Soviet dice. A three. Soviet sniper, yep, a three. He's gonna fire on the, the squad. It's a hit. And a five to wound. Not a wound. Just a pin. Nothing but a pin. Next dice. Germans again. I just moved my Panzer Strike team over this way to get them out of the danger zone of that heavy howitzer. Uh, Soviet dice. Placed his uh, SMG veterans down that were in reserve. And another Soviet dice. A squad of SMG vets has just drove around the building here. German dice. My heavy mortar through the spotter is going to attempt to drop around on those guys. Even a six. Where's your spotter? Hmm? Where's your spotter? Come on, six. Nope. Oof. Maybe I should have waited until they moved. All right, next dice. It was on the mortar or the team? Uh, the, the squad. Another German die. Oh, I'm sorry. I already put all those guys down, didn't I? Yeah. Never mind. I got to do something. <laughs> My armored car just moved up a little bit just to get a better line of sight onto the truck, who is now not obscured by a cover. And I'll fire the... Actually, can you measure that? Pretty sure it's within close range, but am I within 24? Four. Yep, okay. So just moved. <laughs> so fours. Um, I'm firing uh, armor piercing. And <laughs> I missed with both. All right then. Should you use the HE? <laughs> Actually, HE would have not been bad either. Soviet dice. Are they still <laughs> Yeah. So that squad has moved up, advanced, and they're going to fire their machine guns at the squad here. Needing sevens. One possible. Nothing. All right, next die. Good, my machine gun's got something to shoot at now. German dice. I was able to pass the order with this squad, and we're going to return fire with RMG-42 onto that squad over there. And long range, even fours. Just long range, yeah, fours. Ooh, four hits. Your regulars? Yeah. Uh, two dead. And a pin. Next die. Soviets. Soviet officer has exited the truck and moved up to the wall, staying behind the dense terrain. Another Soviet die. Yes. The Soviet. Uh, veteran SMG team has done the same thing. 
moved up behind that uh, dense terrain there, another Soviet die. Truck behind that building with the uh, SMG or LMG squad went down, so did the men inside. Germans. The squad has advanced over the wall, now knowing that the truck won't come around the corner with the machine gun. Next dice. Soviets. AT gun is going to shoot on your guys. Advanced over the wall. AT gun that died in the first shot of the game. Oh, AT rifle. <laughs> okay. So just needing a uh, long range, so just a four. Not if I miss. Actually, that'd be really good at taking out vets because it's plus two pen. Okay, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. So you'd be killing on threes. Another so Soviet. Get a died. second shot. <laughs> you Go wish. Down. The experienced squad goes down. Back there, another Soviet dice. What do you have left? Got lots of stuff left. Do you? I got a T-3485. So he's not, oh, he can't come in until next turn anyway. He's in reserve, so next day. Last two are Germans, and that's my medic and my officer. Here we go, top of turn two. First die belongs to the Germans. First thing I'll do is fire my light howitzer at his Mortar spotter who is somewhere behind <laughs> in cover in hard cover, but I need a six. Come on, yes. Is he regular? Anything but. He's dead. Heavy mortar is now blinded. What do you think of that, Andre? You're not playing <laughs> nice. Sure I am. <laughs> Germans again. This squad just advanced up to the wall. I was going to do that the first dice, but I was worried that heavy mortar might get lucky hit. But now he's blinded. Not so much of a worry. So I'm going to fire at the uh, ET rifle on the top of this building, uh, top of that building. So I need the sevens. One possible. Ooh, it's a hit. And he's regular. One dead. Wow. So one dies, and then a morale test. He's good. And the pin. And next dice. Getting lucky so far. I don't know if keep up that way. Soviets. So this squad over here passed their order. And they've moved up into hard cover and they're gonna fire back to these guys. So move, hard cover, long range, sevens. sevens. Ooh, three possibles. Not to nothing. Next day. Soviets again. He's gonna try to he passed his order with his AT rifle, he's gonna try to hit my officer. It's a miss. Need to six because small team, long range, and he's down to one man. So literally dodged a bullet on that one. But it was a big Germans. Bullet. It was a big bullet, an AT rifle bullet. I think it's like 14 millimeter or something like that. So I just moved my officer up with the rest of the platoon there and another German die. This squad here is gonna fire at those guys. So I got two rifles in range and a machine gun. Long range, hard cover. So I need the sixes, three hits. And they are regulars. Two dead. Wow. And a pin. Next die. So these guys are down four men. So next die. Steve? Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's contemplating how to best cheat here. <laughs> okay, now you contemplate while I take my turn. A heavy, My heavy motor is going to try to drop one on his sniper. Nope. Next die. German dice. The squad of SS I was here just advanced around the church. Soviets. Try to bring in my tank. <clears throat> here comes the tank. Possibly. Yep. T3485 inbound. So my armor car used his dual direction steering. He did the turn and just went full speed backwards to get out of line inside of the tank from that uh, dense terrain there. German die. I uh, just moved my medic up there with that squad. Next side. Soviets. Four shots, right? Five. So the uh, truck moved up 
He's gonna fire his machine gun at this squad here, needing sevens with his medium machine gun. Not Nothing. today. So that's a whiff. Well, not really a whiff. I guess he needs seven, so it's Optimus. not a gimme here. Germans. I'll just put uh, my engineers down who are in outflank. And if you pull another one of mine, then I'll just put the, uh, the other guy down the uh, half track. Soviets. The Soviet heavy mortar has moved just in between those two factory buildings there to get a line of sight over in this area. German die, I'll just put my half track down. Soviets. Snipers firing at the spotter. Eight and a four, I believe, long range. Eight and a three. Small team, right? I don't think any of that matters for a sniper. All right, I'll take like it. it anyway. So it's he's only a regular. So nothing but a pin. So a pin on the spotter of all things. Stay. Actually, didn't I shoot at his sniper? So nice with my mortar, right? So it's Germans. What do I even have left here? So I moved my Panzer Shrek into the door, and then the other the last sight I had was actually activated on when I wrecked. The armored car. So the rest are all Steve's truck. So the other truck moved back. He's gonna fire at these guys behind the wall again. Nothing. With nothing. So he got the squad out, and he's gonna fire the two LMGs. Same squad with two, two possible. Ooh, oh, got pin. one. A pin and a, a dead. dead. And re-roll re -roll that. Roll and uh, see if it's serious. Nope. Just a dead and a pin on. The squad here, so I'll just take out. Oh man, I guess I'll take out one of the Panzerfaust, the rifles. And Steve's still got a few dice to go. Yeah. The rest of Steve's dice, he just left those guys there down. He left his inexperienced squad down, and that is it. On to turn three. Top of turn three. Come on, Germans, Soviets. So Steve's heavy mortar is going to fire on this squad, but I'm going to go down. Oh, he was due for luck. He said, and I, I agreed. So, at least save him go down a little later. Yeah, his luck's, he's storing it up for later. Next die. Soviets again. That Soviet truck there is one on ambush. Soviets again. So the other truck has gone am on ambush. So dual truck ambush. Dueling ambushes. Dueling ambushes. <laughs> Another Soviet die. Small team. So. AT rifle is going to fire onto my howitzer. I need a seven, right? Oh yeah, because you're yeah, you missed anyway. Because yeah, you're down to one man in the team. There we go. So my armored car has uh, used his dual direction steering again. Pulled around here. We're going to fire on that truck over there, needing sevens. <laughs> Not even combined, it wouldn't be a seven. Soviets. Right, he's going to snipe the mortar spotter again. Damn you. <laughs> I forgot I was going to do that first. To hit. Oh, he's dead. So he's killed my mortar spotter. Alright, next dice. Is that the first unit I've killed? Uh, unit. You haven't killed a unit. Or a first... <laughs> no, you killed one first of my... Model. Uh, one That's of the second casualty uh, Travis has suffered. <laughs> Another Soviet die. So he just put his inexperienced squad down on the objective. Another Soviet die. T-34 is just advanced around. Actually, you, you get, yeah, you can do. You can actually go double if you stay on the road. Because he's on the road. Yeah. So you could move up further and still have to shoot. So the tank is taking advantage of the road movement. He's actually going to move all the way up and shoot at my armored car, needing a four just for movement. It's a hit. So I'm sure he'll be able to penetrate. Yeah. That's definitely a penetrate. It's only armor seven. <laughs> and nothing. <laughs> You're done. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's toast. So the armored car is destroyed. Oh, this will yes. get you nowhere, Travis. Thank you, Andre. <laughs> so now my armored car is now dead. And I have a T-34 with 
Well, almost no way to hit it. You got a light howitzer. I got a light howitzer. He's already shot this game though, hasn't he? No, he hasn't, has he? Hmm. All right, my uh, all-star here. The light howitzer is going to fire onto the, the tank. It's a hit. <laughs> uh, let's see what happens. I'm only plus two, but I'm hitting the side. So it make me plus three against nine. Can I even... If I get a six, I can glance. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's, a gl it's a glance he gets. What do you let's mean, see. Steve? Would you rather be lucky or good? Uh, so he takes two pins. Because it's th four minus three. Is it minus three or minus two? I think it's minus it's three. Minus two. We'll check it out. But uh, <laughs> And then how many pins does he get? Two, he, two, two pins. pins. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Well, he does D3 pins, but I guess he only take the uh, two. So two pins and sadly no other Plus damage. Plus one for getting hit, isn't it? It's one for getting hit and then one, one for what I rolled on the damage table, which is a one. Oh, but okay. this guy does D three pins. Yeah. So actually, it's D three plus one pin. So it is three pins. Two for the four uh, I rolled for uh, the D three. Yeah. Or on infantry. Anything. Anything. Anything it can hurt. That's why howitzer tanks are good against other tanks because they always do extra pins. So you're actually going to do take three pins and go down, but that doesn't matter because you're already done. Sweet man, this guy's fired three times and hit three times. Next day. Six, mind you. He's badass. He's killed the Zis. He's killed the Spotter, and he's hit the and he's hit the T thirty four. My Panzer Shrek just moved over here. Eventually, we might get a shot on the tank. German die. The squad here ran this way. Pass order, and then he's going to fire both of his uh, ambushes. So. Sixes. Not a sink, no, you, oh, got, one. you got one. Got one. Killed one of them. Oh man! Uh, all right, I'll take out a uh, assault rifle, I guess, and take a pin. Next day. Germans again. The squad uh, advanced around the church, and we're gonna try to finish off that AT rifle. Even seven, oh. so four possibles. Jeez Louise. Ah, I'm liking these new tabletop CP dice. You should Picked up some. right where the last one's left off. Come on, give me a six. Got one. I need a four. Boom, another six. Took out the AT rifle. Did me the favor. Yeah, the armored <laughs> car is out of the game, so uh, what's the point? Yeah, he doesn't serve any purpose. He's good purpose. for killing veterans, as Travis pointed out. All right, red and, Well, you see the squad over here had two pins. They just rallied, passed the order, and they're pinned to three now. German dice. My officer, uh, he just advanced over the wall there. Next die, Steve. I guess I have to start thinking about if I want to try to bring my outflankers in or not. Soviet die. The squad that was in that truck was the behind the building ran across the street. Next die. Soviets again. Uh, Lieutenant Kustinov there went down. Smirnov. <laughs> That's you again, Steve. Go down. Put him in ambush. All right. So he's hunkering down behind the woods there. Not advancing on the objective. Whoa, <laughs> I had an order, uh, saw and spotter now, ran over here, so we could get eyes on something. Soviets, what do you have left? Shoot, what? Just no. the two outflankers? Yeah, I guess so. You going to try to bring them in? Yeah, with them. Let's okay. bring them in. All right, so roll a uh, uh, check, order test. Definitely oh. coming in. Steve brought his, uh, he had brought them in on this side. Andre was uh, aghast that... They didn't come over here because it would have been a hell of a... Uh, yeah, if you knew how the game was going to play out, that would have been good. <laughs> so the rest are all mine. So with the last dice, uh, move my medic up. I'm not going to bring in my outflankers. So that was it. Just the medic and the outflankers are going to wait another turn. So that's it for turn three on to turn four. All right. Top of four.
so be it. She's going to fire another heavy mortar on these guys, but I'm going to go down again. It's a hit, see? Good thing I went down. So he gets four hits because I'm down. So four dead. And then <laughs> I roll those two again. Uh, just four dead D3 pins. Two pins and four dead. Wow. Alright, next die. So they lost half, but they are fanatic, so they do not take the check. It's twin link mortar, right? Yes. <laughs> twin link mortar gets two uh, three inch templates. Another Soviet dice. So uh, Steve uh, rallied his tank, got all the shock off, and now it is the Germans. This squad here has passed their order and they just hopped the wall. Germans again. My MVP howitzer is going to fire at. Uh, actually, should I try to hit the tank again? <laughs> I could put more pins on it. It's either that or the squad over there. They're spread out pretty good, though, so I could probably only hit two of them. The, the tank? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good idea. Uh, needing a four. No! Oh, sorry. He missed. You lured him in, Steve. You lose your MVP status. <laughs> you have to hit every shot in the game to get that. Soviet. All right. So he's going to shoot the Panzer Trek with the sniper. Long range. And a four, right? Or three. Three. No. That might hit with a sniper. That yeah, definitely hits with a sniper. Oh, that might Nothing not but a much. Veterans. Next day. Soviets again. That truck there has gone on ambush. German die. My Panzer Shrek has passed his order. He's moved over there and he's going to fire at that tank. Needing a six. Come on, six. No. Damn. Next die. At least I'm out of the range of that sniper now. <laughs> Soviets. So Steve ran the guys from behind that building up to there. there. German die. So my heavy mortar is going to fire at the guys lying in that building there. Missed again. Next die. This has been an uneventful turn for the Germans. Soviet die. So that truck is advanced. He's going to fire on these guys here. Needing sevens. Too possible. Nope. Nada. That saves me a pin. Next day. Germans. My reserves came in uh, right there. Just drove in. And I'm going to fire at the tank. Needing a four. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, next day. Just want to get some damn pins on that thing again. Soviets. So two dice now. Uh, Steve, that squad that was back here ran over there towards his objective and then his officer ran around this direction. Next guy. He's still got two guys in the truck over there. Or one squad and the truck. And his inexperienced squad. And what do I have left? My officer and my medic. These guys hop the fence. That truck was on ambush. He's going to take some shots. So three hits. I definitely take a pin. And a dead. Uh, let's take this guy out. Then dies on a four? Five. You had a five, right? You had a five in there. Okay. <laughs> Next die. <laughs> Unless you didn't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> so yes. Right. Truck. I'm not ranged in. Ran up to here. No, he's talking about the Panzer House. Oh. So yeah, he's moving in on the objective on this side. And I'm moving in on the objective on the other side. That was my die. That was the truck. Okay. Okay, passengers go down. Another Soviet die. What do you have left, Steve? Got these two units. Oh, uh, yeah. The two guys by the objective. So he's good. moved his inexperienced squad up. And most need fives, two need sixes. Here. That's ten fives and two sixes. Wait a minute. You're not getting jumped. You can use some of mine. Just don't roll six with them. Okay, these guys are all fine. Two hits. Alright, so veterans. Nothing but a pin. So two pins now. And next die. Hmm. 
Another Soviet die. Okay, so this squad got out. Or not out. It they just moved into there. Yep. They were needing fours because they moved. Okay, needing fives. Come on, veterans. Two oh no. And a pin. Two dead. Roll that six again. Oh, oh. no. Killed something important. And another guy. <laughs> so we want to take out the machine gun, the office, or the uh, NCO. Probably ought to take the machine gun just because yeah, you take got the machine your gun inexperienced out. dudes there. Okay. So, all right. They next next die. So I'm up to three pins. I get my officer over here. So next die, I'll take the machine gun out here in a second. There we go. All right, their hammer has exited the vehicle, and we're gonna fire onto the inexperienced squad. It's a miss with the flamethrower. That figures. So one. Would I move? You're in hard cover. Point blank. So point blank is two plus two for hard covers fours. So only three hits out of all that. Shake it off. Nothing. But three dead. And three dead. And a pin. Check to see if I run out of fuel. Nope. Could use that on the last roll. I'm um, sorry, did you say you had anything left? No, it's all you. So the last thing I have, I guess, are my medic and my officer. Turn five. Come on, Steve, give me a. German dice. I need one badly. This is the time I need the first dice more than ever. Oh, yes. All right. So their hammer is moving up, and we're going to fire again at those inexperienced, but they went down. So I hit with the flamer, and I needed sixes with the submachine guns for hardcover and down. So one. F so flamer hits. See how many hits he gets. No, that's only HE. Six hits. <laughs> it's got the finger from Steve. <laughs> I saw that. And then the one uh, submachine gun. Not beef, Nothing. All right, six hits. Anything but. So five killed. And D3 plus one pins. So four pins, five killed. An automatic morale test. Oh, wait, I forgot to check and see if they uh, become regulars. Doesn't matter. I mean, you can check, but... No, on the previous round, you hit him with a machine gun. Yeah, but it wouldn't help against the flamethrower. It's plus three pin. So it's anything but, regardless of what they are. But if they survive this, you can check. So take a morale test. To... Well, the morale test is, is might be better. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, see, see what you get on the morale test. Seven, yeah. Yeah, you got five pins. They're dead either. If, even if they were vets, they'd be toast. <laughs> Bye bye, inexperienced squad. Yep. You killed somebody, yeah, that's better than usual. Hell yeah. Inexperienced squad is toast. But I still got another squad in there. So next die. Come on, Germans. Yes. I think so. <laughs> You're pulling. <laughs> so I move my half track up into point blank, hard cover move. So needing a five with the HE. Come on, five. Ah, I saw it kind of spinning around in the air there for a second. I hate to break it to you, Travis, but the five was on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> I still saw it spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> X-ray vision, it's a clear dice. <laughs> so dice. Yeah. So the tank moved up, he's going to fire the main gun at the half track, needing a three. It's a hit. And then, okay, go ahead and roll your pen here. So that's probably a pen, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm only armor seven. Ooh, Ooh, nothing but two pins. Was he two over by chance? No. Well, let me double check. Yeah, he didn't double pin it. So, uh, uh, needing fives on the machine gun on the pioneers. Two hits. Okay, veterans. Nothing but a pin. All right, I'll take it. Two pins on the half track, one pin on the pioneers. Next dice. Germans. So my howitzer is just rotated on the spot, and we're going to try to hit the truck on a four up. Damn. Can't Should hit anything. Turned it. I can't <laughs> hit anything. I had to turn it. <laughs> I couldn't see it. <laughs> I just can't hit anything anymore. 
Well, I did hit with the flamer. There was that. Another one of mine. So this squad here, uh, with the three pins, they actually passed their order with a five, and they ran over to here to look right in at the objective. Next dice is Soviets. The Soviet truck advanced over to here. Next die. Germans. The German. Game. Panzer Shrek. No Into pressure. the truck. No pressure. To six. <laughs> Come on, it's a millimeter from hitting the truck. <laughs> You're not going to call that a cock dice. Look, if we wait long enough, it'll just naturally grab it and just bring it down. Through. <laughs> yeah, that's a hit. Right? All right. Went through the yeah, window. Uh, that's a pen. Saying. Let me see what that is. A double pen because I'm over, I'm three, plus three on your, on oh, your thing. I shoot my friggin' machine gun, damn it. <laughs> okay, well, immobilized. So you take, uh, the guys inside take two pins. Ooh. Or is it four pins? Because everything that happens to the vehicle happens to them, so... That's two pins for that one, and two pins for that one. You sure? Yeah. So it doesn't destroy the vehicle? No. Because it's a double... Yep. I don't think so. So like surviving apparently... You get four on the truck. The and truck got immobilized, so he gets out. So he just automatically gets to go onto the objective. <laughs> there you go. So that backfired on me big time there. That's pretty much the game. I can't get you off of there. Yeah. But like Andre said, even if I blew it up, you could still get out and just touch the objective within six. Yeah. As yeah. soon as you shot the Panzer Shrek, it was pretty, er, Panzer Faust. Well, actually, if I would have only got two ones, we're on fire, and I, it was the immobilized that did it. Yeah. If it was immobilized or blown up, uh, then they could get over. out. Yeah. Yeah. You, you had too good of a weapon. Yeah. You needed to not hit it quite so hard. Actually, yeah, if I would have just did one and rolled a one, then yep. I might have been able to just trap you in there with a couple pins. So, is that it? Looks like it. Yeah, because there's no way... Well, I still got these guys. Assault. In a miracle, I may be... <laughs> <laughs> Mortar assault. <laughs> Next dice. <laughs> I don't think I can make it, though. It'll take a miracle. Soviets. Thanks for the rifles. So that squad advanced, they're gonna shoot at the SS squad. In the open. In the open. They are. Hard cover. What? Well, if they're in the open, your truck was in the open. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'd have hit it. Okay, so. hard, hard cover block triple damage. <laughs> Point blank range for the rifles. <laughs> so it's uh, fives, right? Uh, moved. Hard cover. The sixes. Yep, moved, hard cover, and then point blank. So fives? Fours. Fives. Or moved, sixes. Moved fives. is four. Hard cover would be six. Point blank would be back to four, right? Five. Is it plus one or plus, plus one? Plus one. Oh, okay, fives. Now it's not point blank for them. So it's sixes for the machine guns up. Uh, Where's the unit point blank? Five, just say fives for everyone. Doesn't matter. Game's over anyway. Well, why are we rolling dice anymore? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well finish the turn out. That's a lot. That's a lot of hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight hits. <laughs> nine, hits. Wow. nine hits. Nine hits. Okay. But I am veterans. Yeah. Steve just decided to wait till the end of the game to. I tried to lure you by killing my Zoom. One, two, three. three killed. So you can uh, roll those two again. So three killed and a pin. Alright, so I'm down to three dudes, but I got in three pins. So next day. Yeah, there's no way I can make it over there, sadly. Soviets. Uh, the officer ran somewhere. Oh, there he is. He ran over to there. Soviets again. So this squad just ran up and then another German dice has come out. So this squad moved around and we're going to take a shot at that T-34 with the one Panzerfaust that I have left. Needing a five. No, it's a one. So that was a miss. Next dice. Gets hot. Yeah, okay. gets hot, blows up, melts my face off. 
Panzer Shrek is going down. Sniper on Panzer Shrek. You can't fire because you're within six inches of your own guys. I'm firing over the head. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Best time. I'm sure a sniper would be the one unit that would ignore something like that, you think? <laughs> he should be able to fire if you're touching the guy. I mean, if he ignores cover, uh, why wouldn't he be able to shoot around his own dudes? Because he's not that good, maybe. Unless that's Vasily Zaitsev himself. So, another Soviet dice. So, on uh, Steve moved these guys over, and then I got two of my dice, which... I think I'm coming to the end of it here. I think all I have left is my mortar and the officer and my uh, medic. So the mortar is going to fire onto the Soviet squad in the crater. Come on, just for old time's sake. Nope. <laughs> and I got one more. Uh, my officer will just advance over the wall to there. Next day. It's all academic at this point. Another Soviet die. What do you have left? Two trucks. But Travis, you can see. I can't see the objective. But sadly, the engineers. This little uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know what you want to call it. I know what yeah, I want. Yeah, that's call no it. more no more uh, bush league than Andre's waiting until the end of 40k with a with a vehicle just poop, <laughs> run up at the end. And... <laughs> I learned that from somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. So five shots, <laughs> moves, hard cover. Easy Truck lines. into the engineers. Six is in it. Yeah, moved, hard cover. Nothing. Nothing. And my last one. Well, I have nothing left but the medic. So if you have anything left, Steve. Five. You got five. <laughs> left. Three, three dice and a, and a gray one. All right, well, I'll call it. Awkward left hand and handshake. Good game, Steve. We'll come back and wrap it up. Yeah, All right, we're back we're to wrap it up. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, a little weird on the ending with the uh, dismount onto the objective, but that's the rules. So, uh, the Soviets got the objective. I was, I could have got there. Um, I should have left more stuff back to defend my objective, I suppose. But I only had four squads. Three of them wound up over here. I thought I could do it with uh, one squad and the howitzer and the mortar. I thought a fanatic squad and all those guys on my objective would be enough, but apparently it wasn't. So, uh, yeah, it was a good game. So um, we're going to just talk a little bit about our uh, MVP for this game. Of course, my MVP, as I said at the very beginning, is that howitzer. Even though he missed a very crucial shot on that truck, which could have prevented this, <laughs> he still did a lot of damage. He took out the Zis. Uh, he hit Sniper. The sniper. Or, or the Spotter. AT, yeah. He took oh, out the spotter. Uh, spotter for the Heavy Mortar. And he hit the uh, the tank as well, and glanced it. <laughs> he did. It would have been sweet if he immobilized it. But anyway, that was my MVP. Uh, what was your MVP, Steve? My MVP is the outflanker. I uh, picked. I figured nothing with both objectives on this side of the table. I thought nothing would be over here, and I was right. And just was able to drive right up to the objective. Um, and the. Uh, the mortar, despite the spotter getting taken out, it was able to. Yeah, to that's true. Zip dial in on the. Uh, yeah, that's true. The, I uh, was gonna. There. I was actually gonna vote the mortar as my pick for most effective unit. It uh, it was a little slow, but he zeroed in and keeping your uh, veterans down was huge. It allowed Steve. You know. Yeah. It, without that true. mortar, none of that could have happened. It only hit one time, but it hit when it was. Needed. Yeah. Yeah, if that squad was intact, with no, they, that never would have happened. Well, well it might have happened, <laughs> but I still would have been able to maybe get them off of there. Yeah, but once he uh, was zeroed in, you just had to stay down, yeah, I had no and choice. you were uh, you just didn't have enough. You didn't have backup. I wasn't expecting the truck to just get out right on it. I was kind of thinking that it would take at least one more turn. I was thinking it was going to be the last turn of the game. We would both be on the objective and seeing who could get the other one off. So. If I knew that was going to happen, I never would have shot at the... Uh, of course, it would have been the same thing. He would have just got out anyway. So <laughs> my, only, my only hope was to hit it and roll like two ones <laughs> so that I could put four pins on them so they couldn't get out. <laughs> well, you really needed to move your Panzer Shrek over a turn earlier to deal, to deal with it a turn sooner rather than... Uh... Uh, 
taken a pop at the tank. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. It would have been a harder shot though. Well, it and it's a hard range. decision, you know, ooh, should I use it on the truck full of dudes or do I get to blow up the rear armor of a tank? <laughs> <laughs> truck full of dudes yep. would have been my choice, but anyway, yeah, that was it. So it was a good game. Uh, really close actually for this mission. Considering how badly I started out. It was a bad start for you, but oh, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't think Steve had a prayer the first two, three turns. Yeah, it was ugly at the beginning. And really at the end it was a lot closer than I've ever seen in a demolition mission. We were both within one advance move Spitting of it. Spitting distance of the objective. Yeah. Yeah, so we both went for the objective, which is always makes for a more interesting game, I think. But yeah, that's it. So the Soviets have taken this little small town in eastern uh, Germany and they're going to keep rolling on towards Berlin. And that'll do it for this one. So thanks for watching. Uh, check out our uh, YouTube channel. Or YouTube channel. <laughs> you're checking it out now if you're watching it. <laughs> I mean, check out our Patreon page. Uh, we got some stuff on there. I'm going to start doing some uh, uh, Patreon, Patreon only uh, terrain build stuff now that Get some cool we've decided to uh, upgrade all our terrain now. And again, yeah, if you become a patron, you get some of these cool dice and some other stuff as well. And then also check out our Facebook group. Uh, we're growing there big time. We got over almost 600 members of that group now. It's really taken off in the past couple months. So yeah, so check all that out. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.